Well, I'm from Centro Internacional de Papa, the International Potato Center in Lima, Peru. And what we do is we caretake the uh, global collections of potato, sweet potato, and nine different Andean root and tuber crops. So what we try and do is protect the diversity inherent in these crops and in their close relatives. We have the largest tissue culture gene bank in the world. We also have seed collections of the wild potatoes and sweet potatoes. We don't want to just collect and just have sit on it. We're not a museum. So we work with a lot of indigenous communities in Peru. Parque de la Papa is a 12,000 hectare valley that contains uh, six communities. About six years ago, we repatriated some of the potato land races that were collected from that valley back to the park and they were no longer cultivating them. In return, they gave us material that they were cultivating, much of which we didn't have in the gene bank. Gene banks do a very applied type of research in many people's eyes. Cryopreservation, seed biology, we do a lot of work like that, but it's always not viewed as mainstream research. When the trust was first formed, its goal was to be able to support these gene banks the way they needed to be supported so that we didn't lose this valuable resource. Now it's taken on a larger role where it actually came in and said, we will manage the gene banks through the CRP mechanism. I think without that, we would have been left as kind of orphan units within the centers. Although everyone values us very highly, the gene banks are often viewed as a service. Give us material and then go away till we need you again. So the trust has really allowed us to be on an even par in many respects with the research programs and allowed us to take some of our research further. There's a lot of research that needs to be done in order to cryopreserve vast diverse germplasm collections. That's one area that where the CG and the trust are working very closely together with the similar goals so that we will in the future be able to continue to feed everyone in the world.